and welcome back to a let's play of Cook Serve Delicious day 32 and day 33 still got seven more days to go before we get to a two star restaurant and the only real change for today is we now have wine on the menu along with that we already seen fried chicken and steak so the only real difference is wine which is the basic version of wine which again I don't do very often because I find it slightly annoying but it's new, it's unique so I put it on the menu and I played around with the sound settings since the last video because I seem to have lost background noise on some of that so now I probably turned it up way too high but we will see what we will see And of course, having put wine on the menu, the alcoholics all seem to have disappeared and don't turn up before 10 o'clock in the morning anymore. Because that would have been too sensible. You want to show off the wine because you haven't done it before and no one comes in and orders alcohol. Bloody typical. Customers are s never do what you want them to do. They seem to have minds of their own. And if by this point you've gone back on, or you've seen the Day 28, Day 29 replacement video, you will have seen how much nicer customers dress in a four-star restaurant. As I did a replacement video for the one I messed up, which was a demonstration of one day in a four-star restaurant, just because I wanted to put something out as a replacement. Sorry, my, my brain stopped again then while I was dealing with those foods and I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, and the first wines come in, so as soon as I've done this bit of chicken, we'll do the first wine. And as I explained when I was demoing it, you just pop the cork, eventually, and serve it. But of course, popping the cork does actually take a little bit of time, unfortunately, which slows down everything else, which means I can probably mess up, because you can see how the other foods are suddenly going down, as wine is taking me longer than I want it to. Again, because I'm not great at wine. Control. And this rush hour is almost over. Well, the rush hour is over. What am I saying? Oh, another brain fart. Well, it's me. What did we expect? Yeah, spam this wonderful up key. And, oh, peace and quiet. And if you notice the little numbers on the cards, I think I'm up to number. The next one will be number 1728 order. I actually got that right. And I think I mentioned somewhere early in the videos there are Steam achievements based on the number of customs you serve. And I'm pretty sure the first one is two and a half thousand. Which, 60 orders a day is still a ways off, but I've already got that achievement, so that's not exactly a big deal to me. In fact, I've got the one that says serve 15,000 customers from one restaurant. And it's not serve 2,500 customers across multiple saves. It's you've got to serve 2,500 customers in the one restaurant. And then you've got to get 5,000 customers, 10,000 customers. There might be a 7,500, I can't remember. And then 15,000. Hence the four-star restaurant that I've got in another save. I managed to get 15,000 and the 1,500 of each food group, which I won't be even close to with this one yet. And time for another rush hour.
Slightly out, slightly out of practice since the last time I did this, so I'm having to think more than I usually would, and hence talk less. Which is probably a good thing from your perspective. You can just sit and watch and not hear my inane ramblings. Oh, and a nice $8 tip. Always like it when people are generous with their tips. And hopefully I can continue this and get a perfect day because, as you can see, I don't have much cash, so I need it so I can go get something else. Or upgrade something else. Or do something else. Or just something else. And this day is almost over. This, I think I said it was day 32. I don't believe there are any outstanding catering events or anything unique that I can do between the days. So the only difference between this day and the other days is you've got to see the wine. Which didn't come up as often as I thought it would. I thought putting something new on the menu would actually it would appear more frequently. But so fifty eight got four hundred and forty eight dollars. Which if I can upgrade more foods, I can make more profit. Yeah, quite obviously. That's normally the way the world works. But I need to do that if I want to actually start making more money. Crazy Dave's Bet 6. A 22 perfect combo. No other caveats, requirements, just a 22 perfect com combo. Sure, we'll take that. Takes the end of my money away, so... Perfect day. Get 250 of it back. Menu rot. Gadget reviews. CUA99, is that how you pronounce that? Again, with another product to test from Electronic Electronics. The P090-L is the first of its kind, designed to work with a home consumer in mind. Previous models were doctor-slash-medical use only. The hot pad warms just as nicely as its business counterpart, and the thigh gel seems to apply evenly. However, I had problems with the ice sensors and the liquid carbon shaker that didn't quite get the consistency of my frozen margaritas right. Still, if, if you're in the medical and or pub bar business, this is a must-buy. $990, available at all EE stores. Yeah, at the end of that, I've still got no idea what that product was theoretically meant to do. But, I'm using spam. I don't have any silver tickets, so even though I could do this bet, I don't have a silver ticket left to bet. I do have the Crazy Dave bet, which is six, uh, which is 22 combos, no actual food requirements. Right, chicken's gone off. How much is the... Well, I can't tell how much the steak is worth from this. It would be nice if they allowed me to f figure out how much the steak as opposed to the fish or the chicken is worth from that screen. But the steak is 10 bucks. The fish is 15. So go back to the active menu. And of course everything moved up. Oh. Right. Let's get everything off there. Right, we'll put the fish there because it's the most expensive. We'll put the steak there. And then put these back on the menu. And I'm not going to put wine back on the menu, you've seen it. I'll put it back on when I upgrade it. And I don't believe there's anything that's worth upgrading that I can afford. Because I'm not going to go back and do nachos or lasagna anytime soon. And the speciality foods can't be upgraded at this point. But is there anything there I can afford to buy? How much are they? Pancakes are 900, so no. And six of them haven't unlocked, and that's a thousand, so... Onwards and upwards with Dave 33, and Crazy Dave's bet. And see if I can make more than $500 in a day. That would be nice. <laughs> Why 
why does this hat make it look like you see those wonderful pictures of or cartoon drawings of poop that's what his hat looks like on top of his head I'm assuming it's his hat and not his hair I could be wrong whereas that just looks like a silly hat and a man wearing silly glasses and that's just a scruffy man Slowly cook the steak, yes. I may also upgrade the salads, just to, even though it's on the replacement video, but it has vinaigrette and Thousand Island dressing which can be added. And I think they're the only two things it adds. So at some point I do those so I can get more money out of salads as they're a staple on my menu. As you can tell from the amount of fish I'm getting, because it's in the daily special, it becomes the more popular of the menu items to people buy, which is one of the reasons why you tend to put the more expensive item in the daily special to help generate more cash. Oh, number five was, was a salad. After four fish in a row, I was beginning to wonder if there was going to be anything else to cook. And I, yeah, of course I get all the chores at once. Apart from I haven't had a rat for a while. Must be something to do with the food I'm making. Some foods give off, I think they term it crumbs, which attract rats. Because free food lying on the floor, basically. But I'm guessing most of the food I'm currently cooking doesn't. I don't know because I haven't checked for those particular uh, attributes. That was the word I was looking for and couldn't find. But I'm guessing they don't. Oh, and I've managed to win the bet. Wasn't even paying attention to that. And that's one of the things when you play this game for long enough, you tend not to think about the, uh, the amount of combos you need for bets, you just do them. You just serve food and forget about the amount you need, because you should be capable of getting 22 combos without making a mistake at this level by this point. If someone asks me for you know, 45 combos, then yes, I might struggle, because it only takes one, one bad key press and you've screwed up and you can't recover from that. But 22? Yeah, that's normally pretty easy. Oh, and hold two dollars. Thank you for that tip. Appreciate it. Not. Well, I shouldn't be ungrateful. Thank you for that tip. Two dollars for the coffee. I shouldn't be ungrateful. It's still extra money. But I'd rather they be more generous. Why? Because I want money. Give me money. Oh, and finally a rat. And as you can tell from how, how I'm doing, I'm kind of got the hang of a one-star restaurant and, it, and it's rush hours. They are no longer a challenge, which they felt more of a challenge ten game days ago. Because you have to get used to them, but once you get up to a certain speed, it's very easy to maintain it. However, it's just getting familiar enough with the keys 
to be able to maintain a certain speed. And it does take a while. Well, I say it, it takes a while to get to a certain speed and be able to maintain it. But you have to remember, I consider myself a less than average gamer at doing stuff like this. I, I would aspire to be average. So people who are younger, faster, better at games will look at that and go, yeah, I could do that in my sleep. I, however, can't because I'm not as young as I once was, so I'm never particularly brilliant at these things. So, I guess I, I aspire to be average. That's an ambition. See if I can one day become average at computer games. There's something to go on my tombstone. He almost be he was almost average at computer games. I'm sure everybody that knows me and my family would be proud if that's the my my crowning achievement in life. He was almost average at something that didn't actually do a great deal for him apart from entertain him. That's like almost being average at watching films. Don't know how you would measure that one, but income of the day 628. That's not bad. 58 customer served, plus the perfect day and the bet menu. Should give me a bit of cash to play with. Now, uh, next is day 34. I could upgrade the stake. Oh, I've got a silver ticket again. Always nice. Perfect day. Menu rot. About to have another safety inspection. One crazy Dave's bet. Crazy Dave's bets aren't that difficult. And the reason I haven't bought the spam filter to stop these type of emails is some of them are amusing. TV tonight. Gabby's Food Travels Iraq. Iraq if you're American. Iraq if you're anywhere else in the world. Gabby travels to Iraq to see if their cornbread rivals that of the Egyptian cornbread tried last season. Also, a trip to the Amazon in search of the butterfly salt flour. Okay, poor Gabby. Don't think she's going to survive that one. That is today's bet. Now I don't have baked potatoes, so I'm not going to spend my one silver ticket on that. I have $2,000, however. And the only three foods to buy. I could buy baked potatoes, but I don't intend to. Pasta or soup, I'd need to buy the cooking stove so I could actually cook those. But, oh. No, I meant to do that. And then I forgot what I was doing. So I could upgrade the chicken, the wine. I could even upgrade the steak if I wanted to. But what we're going to do is upgrade the salad slightly. I could upgrade it a second time, but I don't intend to. I intend to go buy a speciality food that I haven't done before. The breakfast sandwich. It's not expensive to purchase, or for a customer to purchase. It's a thousand bucks for me, but it's something new. Get rid of that bit of menu rot. So I upgrade the salad, which as you can see, yes, if, if you can make that out, it has a total of a possible three stars. Just like coffee has a total possible of two, fish has four, steak goes up to five as to burgers, and so there's one more upgrade for the fish. Uh, right, breakfast sandwich, I'm not going to make it the special because it's not that expensive. So we'll go with the... I'll go with the steak, and I already had fish as the special of the day, so we'll go with the chicken. And I now have no money again, or very little money. And so next time round, it will be day 34. As always, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having fun. If not, what's the point of doing it? And if you're not having fun with whatever you're doing, and someone's not paying you to do it, stop doing it. It's just a waste of your time and your life. There you go. There's your cheerful thought for the day. Have fun. See you next time.